Perfect. So, uh, so I think we can move and move in. We go in the order of the rooms. Uh, we are going to, as the girls already uh, like represented both of the mobile education rooms. Now it's a time for our Danish guys, Gustav, Victor, and also Isabel. If uh, I don't know, I don't know how you planned it. So the ones that are building a project on diabetes for uh, finding uh, solutions to people using gamification and other things. Please, Gustav and Victor, the virtual floor is yours. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, can, do we want to share the screen, Gustav? Or Yes, I will, I will turn Gustav into the presentation. He is right now perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, um, I have no I idea how to... I, I need to allow my computer to... or I need to allow the program to record my screen. I have no idea how to. Uh, do it on uh, Victus because I have a Mac, so it's better to uh, do it on Victus. Maybe. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, it is. Uh, Victor, all right. So Victor, yeah, I just give it to me then, if I can. Chrome uh, tab. If your file is in the folder as well, I can I can share if you want. If you, if you uh, like this, is it? Can you oh, see it now? Yes. Yeah, perfect, Victor. Perfect. Cool. Um, yeah. If you could just zoom in, that would be even better. Zoom in. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I, think we, I think the fun part is at the bottom. Uh, but our uh, project is uh, focused on what we did, uh, or based on what we did the first time we were in Brazil, uh, a year and a half ago now, something like that, yeah. um, which, where we had to focus on furthering the public knowledge on type 2 diabetes uh, through education of children. And the main point was that uh, we wanted to make a, a project that could uh, teach children about diabetes and how and healthy living and healthy food and do this uh, through a game because we thought that for children uh, that would be the fun, most fun way and most ideal way to teach them something. Uh, and we did that by uh, making a game. Uh, which I have a picture of at the bottom here, uh, which is not a very good picture because it's in ducks, but um, which is a, a relay race uh, with two teams where you compete to place these uh, what, these pictures on their uh, corresponding uh, poster. And, and each poster had a, a, a category, which were uh, exercise, healthy, a healthy diet, uh, bad habits, and the uh, last one was um, diabetes. Uh, yeah, diabetes, uh, facts about diabetes. Uh, and, the, and the plan uh, and the testing we did uh, with the game was then to first uh, show, the, uh, show the children an educational video uh, which and, and and then talk about this uh, and and further explain this video so we could make sure they they understood it and then play this game to see if the children understood the materials from the from the video and then uh, also were able to apply it to uh, to pictures and uh, to their own ideas of how of, of what was healthy living or uh, exercise good exercise or bad habits and. And, and, and facts about diabetes. So we've been doing this uh, and been testing this game uh, in one of the more, uh, what's it called? Uh, high risk uh, high, areas high, yeah. in Denmark. Yeah, and we'll, yeah. one of the more high risk areas in Denmark for diabetes, uh, which were the areas which were best comparable to uh, the areas we were focused on in Brazil originally. Uh, which were the poorer uh, areas or the waste pickers. 
and uh, with with work with uh, the the Brazilians, we were trying to make these uh, games which didn't go through, and which was what you could do if you wanted to pick up this project. Uh, was to translate or uh, adapt the game to a Brazilian context or some other country. It's very simple in the game, and it, it's practically just to translate it or to make sure that the pictures are uh, understandable in, in, in other contexts or in other countries' contexts. Uh, and, and, and that's the proposal for, uh, for this picture, which could also be, uh, if they had skills that we do not, uh, as programmers, uh, you could make this into an app uh, where it was possible to slide the different uh, pictures to the respective categories or things like this. Um, and, and you can make more in-depth educational material uh, as part of it uh, than, than, what, than what we have done in this. Um, yeah, Costa. Uh, yeah, and where we left it, um, as Victor said, it needs to be translated to a Brazilian context, and uh, we propose that uh, whoever uh, like moves forward with this project goes and uh, make contact to some health students in Brazil uh, to make sure that they can uh, validate the information that the kids needs to be given before they can play the game, and also validate the information that is inherent in the game um, to make sure that uh, the picture cards uh, picture something that a uh, child in, uh, uh, yeah, in Brazil would recognize uh, and be able to play with and yeah and reflect on um, yeah I don't know what else Are there anything more mm, I don't think so uh we have examples as, uh, in, in the Google Docs document. We, ha we have a, a full description of how to play the game, how it works, how to set it up. Uh, and also the different uh, parts of the, of the game that you would need if you wanted to make the game for yourself. It's uh, very low cost and very easy to make. Uh, you just need a, a printer uh, to, to print out and cut out the, the different pictures if you wanted that, uh, or you could simply make your own, which were also a big focus for us. We, we didn't want it to be, you have to use exactly these things. It, it should be easily translatable to whoever it was or wherever it was or what it was you wanted exactly to focus on. Uh, as an example in school, uh, which were where we thought it would be most easy to use, but it could also be in uh, spare time facilities or things like this. Mm. Yeah, I think that was what we had. Isabel, did you have anything else you thought you wanted to tell? Yeah, yeah. Um, about the future projects, uh, we were thinking about maybe uh, first validating the game because the game were, was played with um, Danish children, but we would have to um, play it with Brazilian children here in Brazil and we also thought about uh, creating an app maybe so the children can have like a easier access to the game and we also thought about creating a site like so in the site you you have you would have the game template board so you can like the teachers can make the board by, the, by themselves so they can uh, like create the game and you would also have all the videos so the educational videos that the boys uh, they recorded they would have like many videos talking about uh, in this case diabetes but we could also add more uh, personal health matters uh, in the platform and the platform would also like have the possibility to have the online game so you could have like you could download the app or you could like play online on your computer 
which is pretty interesting because uh, usually children have um, computer classes when they are younger. So some schools have a, a room full of computers that the kids could like play um, uh, games about personal health. And we also thought about if we could like create an app about this matter, it could also be uh, linked with the mobile education app. So we would have the mobile education app that we have for adults, the gamification for adults and for children. And in the children's part, we could also add the option to download this app that would have that would help on children to learn about diabetes. Jomel also said that this game could be a pilot for the gamification module to be part of Puma platform. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. We have uh, many projects that are um, going to be platforms, apps. So I think we could um, work together with all of them. Is there any question? Any questions from anyone uh, in the room? That's a very interesting project and the guys have a very interesting result so far. And with the, that perspectives that Isabel brought, uh, we could turn it, it even into something digital, like it's a high potential project. Uh, does anyone have any comment or question? I would just ask Jens, Jens, do you think that this uh, inclusion of the, the, the game as part of a platform would be a good idea in terms of continuation of this project? I think definitely so. What is not clear to me is actually how much work has to be done from now in order to make it a viable uh, product, but it seems um, it seems really, really good what you have done here. Yeah, mostly what, what needs to be done is that the that the information in the game needs to be validated by someone with more uh, knowledge on health and on diabetes uh, than we had when we made the yeah like the prototype because we had to rely on like the Danish uh, general dietitians uh, guidelines for health and they are not very good necessarily and they are specific to a Danish agricultural scene and the guidelines that they have in Brazil will be made on to, to their specific agricultural uh, means of production. Uh, so it needs to be specified and validated to diabetes specifically uh, by someone with more knowledge than we have. Yeah, and, and that's pretty much it, I think. Perfect, perfect. Um, and uh, any more comments or questions? Let me check the the chat here. Mm -hmm. Hobby, yeah, hobby. Uh, oh, PC. Have... Uh, 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 just remember, Melo, that uh, we have the the professor Vanessa Cruvinel that is working with the way speakers in Brasilia uh, since three years ago. So I think they we have the students that worked with us last year. So I, I think we can talk to her. She's very interested. Uh, she and the professor Algira, it's a group of, of professor of, of the health uh, courses in, in Ceylandia. So I think we can meet them and join them to, the, to this project to see diabetes too. I don't understand that also. I'm not very good in it. I'm, I'm an engineer, but we can call them and invite them to participate in, at this this part. So. This is going to be one of the items of the project that we are going to propose to our uh, students, okay? And I hope to have some Danish students also with us. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. That's really good, really good. And Vanessa is also a high potential pa partner for this for this for this project. Definitely, Pese. Really uh, a good insight. Uh, yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, just Elizabeth has some comment. 
a risk against the project. Okay, okay, perfect. So Elizabeth, uh, would you share? Will, will you share in the background or? Okay, she, she's she's answering here. Okay, she's sharing in the chat. So the guys, uh, guys would it would be great. Uh, like oh, but but I think Elizabeth is also with her microphone on. Elizabeth, do you want to speak yeah. here? Go first. Yeah, um, to have a successful um, results, I think it will be important to also try to include other parts, um, like um, like farmers, um, big shop chains, and restaurants um, to reduce food waste. Because the problem, I think, is that healthy food is very expensive food. Um, um, and if um, they have an app for this game, and they could also um, add this app for, um, um, in Norway, there's an app that's named Too Good To Be Go. So that's food that's, you know, maybe a salad made in the morning, and they can sell it the next day. So in the end of the day, yeah, you can buy it for maybe one fifth of the original price. And also shops that sees that, okay, this fruit is okay today, but it will not be okay tomorrow. So they sell it much cheaper um, in this app function. So maybe something like that could be okay to include. Um, then you also could, you know, do something with the food waste. Oh, that's that's a, a really cool insight. Really cool insight. Very interesting indeed. Uh, and I think uh, we could definitely apply it to the future of the project. Definitely. So, uh, yep. I think we should uh, get Elizabeth in touch with uh, the guys because I think this discussion must be uh, like uh, must go further. So, perfect. Thank you, Elizabeth. Again, <laughs> um, so any other comments or questions? I think we are okay. So we can, uh, if, if you want to discuss any other aspects, uh, let's use the chat and that's it.